Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Last time we completed the rabbit race in Fungi Forest. And now we're gonna be heading off to the final area of the game. If I can ever find the I can never find the tiny pad here, just because I usually forget this is even here, because it's just kind of a stupid upgrade for tiny to begin with. I'm surprised this pad's still here, but it doesn't really have much of a purpose anymore. Anyways, I believe after you get both the gold bananas in the last two worlds, or the boss keys, I mean, this area opens up. And welcome to the final lobby in the game, which has two golden bananas. Well, a Kasplat and a, another golden banana, I should say. And although this may seem like a bit of a weird idea to want to backtrack, trust me, it's very, very worthwhile to backtrack. I also don't think homing ammo is really worthwhile to get, but whatever. Yeah, you need to have your sniper to get over this way, but once you hit that, a bridge shows up. Oh, that's it? Fair enough. I think you need to do the thing for Chunky first. Well, I kind of remember it being just a mi mini game, but whatever. Anyways, we have that blueprint. We'll go exchange that in a second because, trust me, you're going to want to do that before going off to this next place. And using this. Oh, this is how you get to the other side. Okay, then. Uh, not going to use that yet. I'm actually very surprised there's the warp pad there, but whatever. Um, sh Shit! Seriously? Okay then, game. Suit yourself. I see this cutscene. You don't need to show me again. But the game feels like it anyway. By the way, you also only need 100 gold bananas to finish this game. Donkey Kong 64, I'd say in terms of actually completing it, has some of the lowest like requirements for completing it out of any N64 collectathon s game. Anyways, we have Kremlin Kosh here. This is kind of a tough version of Kremlin Kosh just because it's really fast. But this is also, to put this in perspective, besides from besides that one blueprint, this is the last gold banana we're gonna get in the entire game. So I expect it to be kind of tricky. But whatever, I'm doing fine at it. I'm not- I don't terribly suck at Kremlin Kosh, so... And I hit a red one somehow. Yes! Oh my god! That was really lucky! Holy shit! That was the last Kremlin there! But you know what that means. That is officially... Well, with the exception of that one golden banana, we have just about every single one in the game. Let's go meet Snide. I'm fairly certain I already showed off where Snide's is in the overworld. I'll meet you guys back there in a second. That's what we need, Kong. Another golden banana for you. And this is going to be the last time we see any of this. For the last animation, it plays every all of the snide gadget things. So we got the hand, we got the crate thing, the basket orange, the testo string, the glove, and that was everything. And that is the final golden banana in the game, number 200. Yep. Let's see what our blueprints look like. Also, for getting every blueprint in the game, we get a bonus thing. This is what the blueprints look like. I kind of liked when it showed all the different colors on it, but it's still cool to have all the blueprints finally show up in blue. So you can kind of see what our diagram is going to be consisting of. 
We have a giant machine here in the bottom right. It explains that there's five, sort of five sections around said machine. And that there's what looks like two things sort of powering something. Anyways, forgetting all the blueprints in the game, you get bonus exclamation mark. This lets you play most, not all, but most of the uh, barrel, bonus barrel minigames. Some of them are on here, like I'm not seeing Minecart Mayhem or, which actually I think that's a Mario Party minigame now that I think about it, never mind. Uh, the, you know what, the one with the Minecart and the bombs and all that stuff, I'm not seeing that on here. And there's probably like one or two others that aren't on here, like the swimming ones or the tree swinging ones. You don't get any of those, but you get most of the other things, which is a nice touch. I gotta honestly commend the developers for including that. If for whatever reason you want to go back and play Beaver Baller after some god I wouldn't even know what reason. And I gotta go find another tag barrel so I can get to up there. God damn it, be right back. Alright, back out here in the lobby for Hideout Helm. That was stupid. That was really stupid. I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's switch to Chunky here. Oh, show this for the third freaking time, why don't you? You need a hundred, you only need a hundred gold bananas to get through. I have 200, so take what, take that what you will, disappear, and let's go to the final level of the game. First, another cutscene. Intruder alert, intruder alert, intruder alert. <laughs> It's the Kongs! Wake up, you fools, and activate my ma machine! But it's an awfully testy. It might explode and destroy us all. Don't tell me what I can't do. But please, Master, just give us a few more hours. No, the time has come! Goodbye, DKIL! Oh, Snide. This is interesting. Here's the deal, Kong. The blueprints you found allow me to block the Blastomatics firing sequence for 50 minutes. You must locate and deactivate the machine in the main cavern. Hurry, or you won't have an island to be back to. So yes, what he actually explains there is true. Hide of Helm gives you a 50 minute timer here. This is... I gotta honestly commend is a really, really cool idea. And it feels, it feels almost surreal to be saying this because I kind of said something similar about other final levels in my Let's Plays before, but I haven't, it feels like I just haven't been able to say that a lot in recent years in some of my Let's Plays. In fact, the last time I ever thought I've really felt like saying this was in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which was, god, three years ago, and on top of Hideout Helm having a really cool concept, it also has one of my favorite songs in any video game, period, and I really, I kind of want to thank the Autark for reminding me how great this song really is, because it really is good. And I think I need tiny for something here. Or no, not yet. Not yet, anyway. This song really, really is good. So, I gotta commend the writers of this one. Like, 
this song just really does feel like there's a lot on the stake and a lot at stake and you know the entire fate of DK Island is in your hands in this at this point. And the fact the music doesn't get halted for anything like for anything like going in tag barrels or the small scene here really does give up to what it's meant to be. Anyways, welcome to the main room. And I actually am going to be quiet here so you can listen to the music. Doesn't even overwrite the jetpack theme. Now, uh, I'm picking Diddy's jetpack up for a quick second here because... There's a battle pad all the way at the top here. And, because I'm gutsy, I feel like tackling this during the time. Shockwave Showdown. This is the final battle pad in the entire game, and you get to use Diddy for it. So, let's do it. Also, 90 seconds. A full minute and a half. Yeah, this gets... This gets really interesting. Unfortunately, since I have that cheat code on, I'm just gonna use it a lot. Okay, to be f to be fair, having unlimited crystal coconuts makes the game cheap. I'm not gonna deny that. I usually don't use cheat codes. I just wasn't expecting to get that rabbit race still on my first try. And now you know that I'm. Even though I think I said this in the same session. Now you know officially that I'm recording these in the same session. Okay, all of you die. You can go away too. And that was a minute gone. There's a lot of stuff you need to do in this level, trust me. The you'll be you'll be really wanting to get a lot of splats in this game because the splats are how you increase the amount of time you're given in this final level. If you don't... And then for the last 10 seconds, a third Kasplat just decides to spawn. Shoot! No! Come on! Three seconds! God damn it! That stupid third Kasplat. At, you'd think 10 seconds wouldn't be enough time to impact anything, but... Yeah, it was. Okay, it's gonna get to a point now where there's gonna be a third spot spawning in a minute. Or in a few seconds, actually. Yep, I knew this guy was gonna be coming up here. I don't like having them all spawning at different times, but you know what? That don't matter! This is the last battle crown we're gonna get in the game. So, yeah. Let's just fall a lot. Now then, there's a lot that needs to be done here. First, I need a tag barrel, because I need Donkey Kong. I didn't realize that I did need DK, but I did. I also wasted about three minutes there. So, yeah, we got this giant machine here, and although it takes a few little bit to turn on, Activate that and increase these rings. I think this is actually timed, if I remember right, which I'm not looking forward to. Shoot, yes, it is timed. <sighs> they re they make this part difficult, but for a good reason. It's the final level of the game, and it deserves to be difficult. <laughs> it really does. It's also a really, really good final area, though. And... While I was in the middle of that battle arena thing, I suddenly remembered me wanting to say something, about some, something I started saying. This LP has really been a lot of fun to do, and 
DK64, I gotta say, I'm really glad I went and started LPing this, because I admittedly think that it's more fun to do platforming games than it is for all the other random things that I've done over the years, all these random RPGs and things that just take a long time, and really, the, the whole platforming thing has really always sort of been my strong suit, so... I'm really glad that I was able to finally revisit this, and my next Let's Play as well is going to be another platformer, which I think most people will be glad to hear, but yeah, I've actually, <laughs> funny as it is, I actually started recording my next Let's Play already. I'm not going to say what game it is yet, but it's another 3D platformer and another one I really like a lot, so... This music is so good. It, re it really is one of my favorite songs from any video game, and I'm not one who listens to a whole lot of video game music anymore, but this is one song that I can definitely say is really good. And, shoot, I think there's a door I'm missing, or something I'm missing somewhere. Okay, it's right here, I think. I think this is the first one you need to go to. You need to use Chunky to break down all these doors. And time to get to the main gimmick of Hideout Helm, which is switch to Donkey Kong. Okay, if I can, let's just play the bongos here just so we can see what this is. These will open these doors here, and it'll open up this room. Now, as you check out here, check out, there's a banana metal in here, and some K. Rule steel keg things. These are essentially mi mini games of sorts. Hey, Donkey, jump in the blast barrel and hit all three targets. So, that's essentially what these mini games are. Oh, shoot. This mini game is. These minigames are a bit of on the bizarre variety. I'm not going to deny this. You got to be quite quick with some of them. All right, and one more to go. Shoot. Okay, if I'm really quick with this next one, I can get. Nope. Okay, can I still get this? Can I still get this? Nope, because I mi- Bullshit, I didn't miss that. Yes, I'm gonna need to try again if I want to do this part. Okay then, got that one. I'm also not gonna lie, these are the hardest- <laughs> Besides Beaver Bother, these are the hardest bonus barrel things in the entire game. Okay, got that one. These are- Definitely the hardest of the barrel mini games. They're meant to be hard though, so I can kind of forgive it for that. This one, I think we actually got Rambi for this. Yeah. This one kind of sucks. Wow, it's Rambi. Go bash some Kremlings, but watch out for the power pylons. So, yeah, you basically gotta bash a certain number of these things without hitting any of the electric stuffs. Overall, not a very difficult one. You just gotta be kind of careful of your surroundings here. It does feel pretty satisfying to finally be using Rambi again, though. There we go. Goal achieved. And for doing all that, and trust me, you don't want to miss this because these are actually missable collectibles, you get a banana medal. Yeah, these are actually missable collectibles. If you don't collect these, then you're not getting them for the rest of the game. So let's get a banana medal. This is how we get the last five in the game. We have 37 minutes and 17 seconds left. Let's go get the other four Kongs now, shall we? The next one I saw was Chunky, so let's switch to him. Oops. I'm assuming Chunky's is going to be up here. Yeah, it is. 
and in case you're wondering if you'd notice we only broke four of the things Diddy's area is actually a spot we need his jetpack to reach and because of that since chunky can't reach it you don't actually have to break a gate down so let's go in and stop this machine with chunky now Uh, you'll like this one, Chunky, just... This is... Oh, great. don't exactly remember this one too well, you just gotta... Break the boxes until you find... The Kremlin, okay. When I say these are some of the hardest things in the game, they usually are. Stuff like that's kind of an exception, though. They... They just throw all these weird mini-games at you at the last second, and in a way, I kind of like that. Oh, this. Yeah, you need to use Sniper to hit the things here. Although, actually, having homing ammo makes this part impressively easy. Holy shit. I didn't realize that going into that with homing ammo actually made things easier. Wow. For once in the... A very rare spot in the game. I actually think homing ammo really helps. Okay, that's kind of cool. And next up we have Tiny Saxophone. Go away. Alright, let's switch to Tiny. I originally considered splitting the video by this point, but you know what? Screw it. It's the final level. It is an all-out epic level, and I think it deserves to be in its own full video. Add feature massive length. Add feature massive length. <laughs> God damn it, of course. I had to make the stupid expand dong meme reference, of course. Oh my god. I piss a lot of my friends off with some of those memes. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of inter kind of interesting. You need to jump through the stars without touching the ground. So, is it difficult? No, but it's still a little bit tougher than some of these other ones. And actually, that was a lot easier than I remember. It. I think I remember screwing that one up. A Decent amount. I don't remember though. All right, let's see what else we got. That was a great screenshot, by the way. Yeah, I kind of figured there was gonna be something like this. Wow, these are actually a lot easier than I remember them being. Okay, tiny as really easy things. Holy jeez, I don't remember. I remember there being at least one kind of annoying one, but for some reason I thought the kind of annoying one might have been for Chunky, so... I don't know. I don't think Lanky has anything to do with On Guard, unfortunately. He might, for all I know. I think one of them is uh, Zinger Hunting, which is a pretty annoying one from what I remember. I can keep that one piece of homing ammo, that might be nice, but still. Let's go to Lanky Kong. See, we're gi you're given a lot of time for this. It's This level is sort of meant to fool you, but if you have a lot of time, it, at most it should only take you about... I was going to say about 18 minutes, but it's been about 18 minutes now. Uh, so, at most, I should say, it might only take you about 25 minutes or so. I also did the battle pad this entire time, too, which you don't need to do until after this is all over. And you can probably guess what happens when we finish all, th all five of these areas off. Oh! Shit me. I didn't expect there to be a maze here. Uh, shoot me, where's the switch at? Here's the switch. I'm gonna guess the finish line is somewhere this way. Nope, not even close. 
shoot, 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 shoot. I'm not gonna make this. I'm not gonna make this. Nope. Okay then, I do know that the switch is down here at least, so... That time I actually did hear it activate, so... Wait, I already went this way, shoot. Uh, is it this way, or... Nope, not this way either. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running! Yes! Alright, one second again. Not as impressive as the Kremlin Kosh one, but... Whatever. All right, 3110. Oh, this is the stupid. This is the other another stupid one. You need to shoot these stupid zingers here, and there's the kind that take a few hits to kill, and they're sometimes flying in around objects and all this other crap. So, okay, I got one more. Um. God damn it, seriously? Uh... Yeah, I like, kind of to a lesser extreme, I think another reason I kind of don't like this one is because it kind of has some resemblance to Beaver Bother in the sense that I think these things are kind of random. This would be an, a great spot to have homing ammo, but I do think the Kremlin one is probably harder just because you need to use Sniper to hit some of those. Then again, Proving to be. Oh, come on, seriously? Damn it. Damn it, that was should have totally hit him. That was not even a hard one to get. Okay. Oh, I think I noticed something. It seems like most of the zingers seem to follow a really circular path, mostly somewhat around these lights here. I don't know if that's really much of the case or not, but so it's kind of seeming like anyway. Oh, that hit! That totally killed him last second, too. I know this would look like a pretty easy one to get there earlier. Yeah, this guy. Okay, this guy should be easy to hit. He's kind of the closest one here, but... That should totally kill them. Oh, sweet! Two of them just... Two of them just sort of flew my line of sight there. That's pretty damn sweet. So, I'm just checking here. Um... Yeah, this will be 39. Okay. Just making sure I've been getting the other stupid banana medals, because... Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to 100% this game. But yep, we only have one more left, and that's for the man with the guitar. That would be Diddy Kong. 
Did you kind of get to a lot of these last... Uh, last Kong credits in this game, which I kind of like. I think Diddy kind of deserves it in some ways. So let's go. Oh, it actually goes backwards from DK, Chunky, Tiny, Lanky, Diddy on the character select screen. That's kind of cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, Diddy's is all the way up here, which no other Kong can actually reach. Nor er, that's tough. That's Lanky's. That's Lanky's. Shoot. Keep flying. Keep flying. Um, Diddy's is somewhere high up, though. Yeah, it's up here. No other Kong can reach this, so... Thankfully, there's no other, no rickety gate here that you need Chunky for, because it should be the last time we played the guitar. <laughs> and let's go through here. Oh, back. This is a stupid one. Basically, it's a completely luck based thing because you need it. It's completely luck based because you need it. To... Oh, whoops. Okay. I didn't realize what that was. You basically need to bash the Kremlin and then hit the switch. It's a random Kremlin that you have no idea who it is. I didn't realize what the. what the event meant, but whatever. And this, oh shoot, take to the air, hit the switches. Um, this one I kind of think, it, if I remember where it is. It's kind of annoying. You might also want to get used to this, because there's going to be another part, not in this level necessarily, but the, near the end, late game that's going to be related to Diddy's jetpack that you might want to get used to. With that all done, you basically just head down and hit the switch. And that's it for not only with Diddy here, but also just about everything in Hideout Helm. Our time is going to stop very, very soon. I think I saw a 24-36 was my time. Certainly not close to the best, but if you can beat it, then feel free to post a response. Unfortunately, I can't ex I can't exactly say post a video response and trust me, I, I I miss I admit I do miss video responses. I thought I thought they were a nice touch. They actually I felt like they made interaction with other people quite better. And honestly, I video responses actually kind of helped my channel out for quite a while too. Like I remember there was an episode of uh, my Mario Sunshine LP that was. I posted as a, re a video response to one of Chugga Conroy's videos back in the day, and somehow this one video ended up getting, like, close to 600-ish views within the first day or something, so, I mean, th I felt like they actually did help, but I f guess YouTube, YouTube themselves don't exactly think properly to begin with, but, anyways... May also notice that here's where a warp hat is, and if you notice, this is where K Rules place is. Er, oh wait, this isn't. Er, no, this isn't it. This is where the other guys were at the beginning of the game. See, you could actually go here in a cutscene, which I think is a really cool touch. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot here, but check it out. You do need four battle crowns, which is what these do. You only need four to really do much of the rest in this game. And we have another cutscene. And K. Rule just sort of takes off. I don't know why it needed to show that shot three times, but whatever. And yeah, he just sort of has that thing. And you just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. I don't know why I'm semi-referencing Dory from Finding Nemo, but whatever. And check it out, this is K. This is K. Rule's room here. You can see all these portraits of the Kongs, which doesn't really do anything. I actually don't even know why that's there. 
We have this here where Kid Rule's stuff was. And also through here, if you can hear right, you see a coin. And we see some banana fairies. And we also have this Rareware coin and Nintendo coin sign here. Thing is, though... Uh... Yeah. You can get... These... Oh, that was a 2-in-1! Sweet! You can get those things... Just by doing that. Rescued all the fairies. Now come back and see me. Sure thing. You can get all those just by doing that so you don't actually need these coins to get the fairies but we have these coins and this is the only reason they are really required to beat the game although I think there might be some sort of sequence glitch I don't know but but is that it for this game I mean we kind of have all 200 10 out of 10 8 40 out of 40, 1 out of 1, 20 out of 20, 1 out of 1. Banana Fairy still wanted us to go see her, so I'd say we should go visit her. Alright, well, let's talk to the Banana Fairy one final time. Tiny, oh Tiny, a day, rescue all my Banana Fairies. Have a certain piece of uh, Banana Fairy Island, I can reveal our secret. Secret? Banana. Uh. Oh, banana. Also, this golden banana is freaking huge. And also, if you notice, there's a rare, rare banana, not a Nintendo one. So, let's collect the rare, rare golden banana. 201 golden bananas in the game. This entire game, I've been keeping it a secret that there's actually a 201st golden banana. It's. Not exactly a un unknown thing at this point in the day and age of internets, because, I mean, I, I knew most people probably already knew this, and not even close to the first person who will let's play this game, but in, in general, I really enjoyed LPing Donkey Kong 64. It's been a lot of fun and whatnot. But we still have one more person we gotta go see. K Lumsy. Let's go talk to him. <sighs> and yep, all those things... All those keys revealed means that Kalumzi is finally free. And we also have this thing. K-Rules jet thing. Which I guess is more like a last resort kind of deal, if anything. So, kind of strange perspective. I guess, okay, the, if the crown isn't where creepy ca the Creepy Castle lobby is, then I really want to know... Where does that one cannon seriously launch you? Because it's unexplained where that creepy castle lobby is, or why there's just, if it's in the sky, then why there's just a floating castle in the sky. And then, also, size perspective. Kalumsi was able to fit in that tiny island. Look at how big he is compared to DK Island. <laughs> I gotta admit, I love K. Lumsy as a character. Is that rock ever really there? And yeah, that just sort of crashes. Maybe we will go investigate that next time on Donkey Kong 64. Peace out.